you have been using vector tools for a very long time like canoe or canalizer like me but you don't know how this panel option can be used so in this video we are going to cover how this panel option works so first of all we are going to learn how we can add a panel into this so first of all it will be in the home page and the option will be here so once of once you click on this panel option there will be new panel option down below so we just need to click on that and it will open a new tool which will be here in the tools like uh, panel designer tool will be opened you can uh, come into the tools and click on this panel designer option or else you can go with our method like clicking on this panel and clicking on this new panel and it will be open like this in a tool environment and since this is our first time of using panel we are going to design a panel to show rpm gauge uh, which will be a gauge type of panel so as soon as our tool opens up we are going to add a uh, analog gauge there and we are going to assign a signal to that and that panel will react to the signal value which we are giving through our integrated generator interactive generator block that is our ig block so i'll just maximize this window and you will see a window something like this and since we are using uh analog gauge we have to add this analog gauge which will be here in the toolbox i'll just drag it here and if it is not there then you need to just go into this view just go to this view and click on this toolbox if this toolbox not pops up for you so let's suppose i close this uh, then i can again reopen that toolbox by clicking on this so as you can see this analog gauge is here we can uh, change its position in the panel so since it is by default for millivolt you can change its property from here but uh, the first things first if we change these properties and then assign a signal then the panel will again take the values from the signal and it will be a mess so first we'll first we will add attach a signal to it by using this option that is attach signal but since we have not added any database our in our canary configuration so we have to add the database first and then only we can assign the signal so we'll go to the canary then go to the simulation simulation setup and then open this scan network can and this database so i'll be adding my database so my database is in d this work folder testing and i'll be using this temp ps6 database so as soon as i open it i will go to panel designer again and then again i will go to this attach signal and since i've added my database it will be accessible from here we'll go to frames and since we are going to be using an rpm gauge for our tutorial so i'll be using an rpm signal as an example which is here in ec1 and engine speed so as soon as i say okay you will see that some of the numbers and the color of the pa this panel has been changed so we can configure it according to our choice so since this is an rpm meter i'll be naming this as rpm meter so you will see the text of this gauge has been changed so minimum i need to set it to zero the max value of this signal is 8031 that's why it is taking the max value but our rpm meter will not be having this much of value so i'll set it to 4000 and the value will change here uh, also you can change the uh, scale angle so currently it is at 90 degrees but since most of the rpm meters are having 240 degrees of scale angle so i'll set, set it to 240 degrees and the arrow position i'll set it to zero the lower will you can change the color of this rpm meter by uh, setting these values so i'll set the lower at 1500 so we'll see this first uh, 1500 value is now in green and the upper you can change 
so i'll set upper as 3000 so above 3000 it will be in a red zone so since this is our rpm uh, meter so we can configure all the values from here you can also change other properties like the name of the gauge uh, name of the panel name of the gauge or other things you can uh, experiment by yourself so our panel has been designed and since we have attached signal to it of rpm so it will react to rpm meter so i'll just save this uh, to somewhere like uh, in documents if i save it, it 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 is saved as panel one and now it will be accessible from our canoe uh, just go to home the panel and now it will be accessible as panel one so as soon as you add uh, IG block here like this insert can interactive generator block and configure you need to add a message from the database the same message we need to add which we have attached to this panel uh, and I'll attach it as EEC1 So since I'm not having any tool, I'm not having any license of this canoe, it will not respond for me. But if you are having license and if you are using this canoe in your company, uh, then you will be able to turn this on using this Thunderbolt or using shortcut F9. And as soon as you turn this on, the value of this RPM meter will go to the value which you're setting here at 401 it will go to 400 since this is the signal which we have attached to this panel it will react to this signal only so thank you for watching and in the next video we will see how you can control a signal value from the panel